What is up guys, in today's video we have a brand new content update for Fortnite. As always, the content updates are pretty minor, but we still have some gameplay changes in today's update. So if you guys do find this video helpful and informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and comment down below what you think of the Star Wars items being out of the game, because that is the first change we're going to talk about. The Star Wars items have all been removed from the game. So the lightsabers, the E11 blasters, the pulse rifles, and the junk rifts. Pulse Rifles and Junk Rifts aren't actually Star Wars items, but they were only unvaulted as a part of the Skywalker week. Also, the Star Wars NPCs have all been removed from the map, so there's no more Stormtroopers, no more Imperial Chests, and no more Darth Vader. So, all that is out of the game. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be happy with that because my comments have been flooded with people complaining about the lightsabers pretty much ever since they came back. The main item that we got added today is going to be the dial a drop item. This is a radio that allows you to call in a supply drop. And interestingly enough, you get to choose which type of supply drop you want. You can get a normal supply drop, a heal supply drop, or a vehicle supply drop. I'll have a clip of the vehicle coming in now. Um, and it actually comes in quite slow, I feel like, but the vehicle does come fully upgraded. It has upgraded tires, it has the cow catcher on it, and it also has full gas and full HP, which is a nice benefit. It would really suck to use this on a car and just have it drop down with like 20% gas or something like that. So it's nice that they have 100% gas. Overall, I don't think this item is really going to change the game too much. It'll be nice when you get it and you're able to get more loot, and I'm sure there will be some times where maybe you're desperate for heals. And then calling the heal drop in is able to save you. But I feel like it's something that's more situational. And it just kind of gives you access to items that were already in the game. You know what I mean? It's not like this is really going to change the game that much. It's not like they added a new assault rifle, a new shotgun, a new like overpowered item. It's just a way to get more loot. And that is always appreciated. And I'm sure it'll be helpful in some situations. But it's probably not going to change the way you play too much. Um unfortunately planes and helicopters were not unvaulted as a part of today's update so we've known that these were coming for a while and i think like two weeks ago or so maybe longer than that the planes were supposed to come and then they got replaced with crash pads last minute and then we had the polo collab recently coming and a lot of that seemed to be themed around planes like the characters are wearing pilot outfits but planes and helicopters are still not here so maybe we'll have to wait until next week's update for that or who knows if they're even coming at this point in the season because we are very close to the end of the season. We probably only have one major update left and then maybe like one or two content updates or wild weeks for the remainder of this season because we only have, I believe, 26 days left as of the time I'm recording this video. And that is going to be our final point in today's video. And that is going to be that the next major update for this season is going to be next Tuesday, November 15th. And this may very well be the last major update of this season. Like I said, we might get like content updates or wild weeks after that, but as far as new content being introduced or large changes to the game, next week is probably the last chance we have for that for the remainder of the season. Sometimes they do like minor little extra updates for the last week, especially if there's going to be an event and it does seem like there's going to be an event for the season. But if there is another update after next Tuesdays, I would expect it to be mainly event related and we wouldn't really see that until the event ends up happening. But that is going to be it for today's video. I'm going to have some gameplay play out of a recent game I got on stream. Um, let me know what you think of the Star Wars items being removed. Let me know what you think of the dial-up drop being added to the game. And are you disappointed that planes haven't been added to the game yet? I know a lot of people really want them. I wasn't a fan of them in Season 7 when they were initially added. But I'm sure a lot of you uh, would like to have those in the game. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. He just really didn't get to play the game there because I landed on him and hit him like for a lot before he could play. But I know who that is. I think he follows me on Twitter. That was like the original tryhard skin, the John Wick. That was like the first skin that people like complained about other players using. That was a season three tier 100. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Imagine I just get shot by the lightsaber player there. That would have been sad. If you're like chilling on here and someone's gonna come up to zip, they always come up at the same spot. Like they always end up like right there. So you just like crosshair placement. First half of chapter two and second half are not even comparable, really? Which one do you think is better? Because I know season 4 of chapter 2, everyone says was godlike. Like, everybody I talk to about the game that I tend to agree with about the game, you know? 
says that chapter two, season four is like one of the best seasons ever. But I know season five and six were not so much. I thought season eight was okay, but I had also just came back to playing the game again, so it's kind of hard to judge. First half carried, second half almost made me quit. Yeah, that's interesting, because I, I I was like wondering where you were going with that, because I thought you were going to say the second half was like godlike, but I knew that five and six were not the best, and I don't know much about seven. And I feel like eight was okay, but everyone just kind of wanted the chapter to end because we knew the chapter was ending. This area is such a nightmare for endgame. Yeah, I agree, Lisa. And I just feel like a lot of... I don't know. No, dude. Holy f This game is... F I'm just trying to take the ammo and the game makes me gather fireflies while I'm getting sniped. He blank sniped me, which is annoying for him, but like... That was deserving. If I got... Imagine I just died there because of that. That would have been very upsetting. Bro. I'm so bad at shooting the bushes. You play builds without building and somehow win more than zero builds? Yeah, so like part of the matchmaking, the skill-based matchmaking algorithm in this game uh, takes into account how fast you build or how well you build. You could make a new account and never build ever on it and your build lobbies would look like zero build. My stream schedule, uh, pretty much every day around this time. Like, I usually start 10 Eastern. I don't stream Sundays usually. Like, that's usually when I just, like, make several videos. Like, yesterday, I made two videos and then, like, did a lot of work on another one. But hold on, I'll talk about that in a moment. All right. GG's. <laughs> 